Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, we're coming to the blessed month, the holy month, the month like no other month, Ramadan, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that again, we're going to start this class off with this hadith of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. But the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, from Salah to Salah, from Juma to Juma, and from Ramadan to Ramadan, Alhamdulillah, remember that mean you have the opportunity of being forgiven of all of your sins. So from Salah to Salah, right? I pray Fajr prayer, from Fajr prayer all the way to Thor prayer, I might make some mistakes, right? I might do something miscalculated or whatnot, right? Boom, Thor prayer, I have the opportunity of being forgiven of my sins. From Thor time to Asr time, again, I might make some blunder. I have the opportunity of being forgiven of my sins. Juma to Juma. Right? Same opportunity, right? Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that if you uh, pray on the day of Jumu'ah, right? Alhamdulillah, what does mean? You do everything you're supposed to do. You do the ghusl, miswak, you put the oil on, you put the best of clothes, right? You come to the masjid, two rakats, tayyat to masjid, greet the masjid, don't talk, right? You do the two rakat, right? Rakatain of the Jumu'ah prayer. You're forgiven of all of your sins from that Friday, the previous Friday, and three days, so ten days, right? Forgiveness for the Jumu'ah prayer. Then he said, Ramadan to Ramadan. So now we're coming to the month of Ramadan. This Ramadan, we have the opportunity of being forgiven of all of our sins. It don't matter what we did the whole year. We ain't talking about what we did yesterday. We ain't talking about what we did last week. We ain't talking about what we did last month. We talking about what you did during the whole year. You have the opportunity of being forgiven of all of your sins, man. Alhamdulillah, Rabbi Alameen. And again, the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that those who stand up at night during the month of Ramadan, every night during the month of Ramadan, any night during the month of Ramadan, anybody who stands up at night during the month of Ramadan with Iman, with faith, I believe in the lost of Allah. That's why I'm doing this. I'm not up for any other reason. I'm not trying to show off. I'm not trying to be seen. I'm doing this because I believe in Allah's Prophet. I believe that man, I could be forgiven of all of my sins. He has belief and you have hope in Allah. I have hope in the Rahmah of Allah. I have hope in the Mahfidah of Allah, the forgiveness of Allah. So you stand up at night, any night during the month of Ramadan, with Iman, right, with hope, you're forgiven of all of your sins. Alhamdulillah, mean. So therefore, that's the emphasis, man. Put it in your memory, man. Put this in your psyche. Put this in your heart. And put this in your attention that Ramadan, I'm going to be forgiven of all of my sins. Inshallah. In Islam, we have forgiveness and tawbah. In Islam, we have forgiveness and tawbah. Right? Forgiveness, I stuck for. Right? I stuck for. Right? I stuck for the law. Right, we're asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us of our sins, and then we have tawbah, right, which is turning to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Right, some people uh, misunderstand that a stuff for and tawbah are the same thing. A stuff for asking for forgiveness and doing tawbah are two different acts, two different things, right? A stuff for to just say from the mouth, a stuff for the mouth, a stuff for the mouth, a stuff for the mouth. Like Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, he said in one day he would say over seventy times or over a hundred times, a stuff for the mouth. Right? This is just a verbalage. Okay? Sometimes we may make a mistake with a stuff for the mouth. Right? We might say a bad word, a stuff for the mouth. Right? We may see something, right? A stuff for the mouth. That's just a stuff for. But certain things we may have to make tawbah for, right? Tawbah means to turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, right? Ask for forgiveness, but then there's other things that you do with this tawbah, okay? Like for instance, we're told that when we make wudu, we're forgiven of certain sins. We're told that when we make the salat to rakate, we're forgiven of certain sins. You shake somebody's hand, you're forgiven of certain sins. You smile at somebody, you forgive them certain sins. That's a stuff for Allah not forgive you. But certain things you got to make tawbah for. Even during the month of Ramadan, you got to make tawbah for certain things. Right? Those things that which are kabahir, major sins. What are the major sins? There's a book by Imam Zahabi. There's a book by Imam Zahabi. Right? Where the Muhammad Imam Zahabi called the kabahir, which is the major sins. And 
in the beginning of this book, there's a statement of Ibn Abbas, right, but in Al-Quran, where he said that there's close to 70 major sins, and it goes through this book of all of the things which are major sins, whether it's shirk, uh, whether it's magic, uh, whether it's uh, running from the battlefield, whether it's uh, zina, whether it's riba, right? Talks about all the things that are combined here, right? Homosexuality, all of these things, right? So, with regards to these things that are combined here, these things that are major sins, these things that Allah put out, uh, threatens his la'ana, he threatens the punishment of the hellfire, we have to make tawbah. It's not just enough to say, stop for the law, I stop for the law. We gotta make tawbah. Right? We have to do a certain. We have to go far and beyond with the cross to seeking Allah's forgiveness. We got to turn to Allah's with Allah with the cross to this sin, right? And turn to Him and make Tawbah to Allah's with Allah. So, what is Tawbah? In making Tawbah to Allah's with Allah with certain sins that are combined, certain major sins, we have to fulfill certain prerequisites. Okay? So, here we go. We have the seven prerequisites of Tawbah. There may be six, right? But I got seven. Number one, with regards to Tawbah, asking for forgiveness of a major sin, this is during any time of the year, but especially during the month of Ramadan, we want to make Tawbah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for certain things, right? With the intent that after Ramadan, why we come out with a clean slate, inshallah. So the first thing is, number one, we have to admit that sin. Whatever that sin is, we got to admit to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that this is wrong. We admit that this is haram. We admit that this is something that is displeasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, right? And admit that sin to Allah. I admit that this thing that I've been doing is wrong. And when we say admit this sin, we don't admit it to nobody else. We only admit it to Allah. You ain't going to tell nobody about it. It's between you and Allah. So number one, we admit this sin. We admit that this sin is something that's haram. Right? Like some people think, oh man, bro, uh, it's not haram to smoke weed. Oh man, it's not haram to do what do but now you gotta admit to yourself and admit to Allah that it, it is wrong. Right? At first you was playing with yourself, oh man, it ain't wrong, but it's from the earth, and, you know, it's natural and all the weird stuff, right? Let Shaytan you got deceived, let your you let your knowledge deceive you. So now you have to admit to yourself and admit to Allah that it's wrong. So number one, we admit the sin. Number two, we ask for forgiveness of the sin. So this is where the stuff for comes in. We ask Allah for forgiveness, I'm stuck for the law. Oh Allah, please forgive me. That's the first part. We make a stuck for to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and voice it out to Allah what that sin is. Whatever that sin is, oh Allah will give you for this. And again, this is between you and Allah. Right? This is between you and Allah. Right? And then number three, when you're asking for forgiveness of the sin, be remorseful. Right? Feel ashamed, feel guilty. And so it's got to say, even to the point that you make yourself cry. Cry out to Allah for this, man. Be remorseful. Feel guilty. Have shame. Make a stuff for him, but be remorseful and make it a stuff for him to the point that you make yourself cry. When's the best time to make talk? When's the best time to ask for forgiveness? When you're in such time. Right? When your head is to the ground. When you're humbling yourself. Right? Like I'm saying, man, I don't bow down to nobody. Yes, you do. You're going to bow down to Allah. The one that created you. Right? The one that gives you breath, the one that got your heart beating involuntarily. You can't even control your heart. You want to bow down to him. So the best time to be remorseful, the best time to ask for forgiveness, the best time to cry out to Allah is in such the when your head is in the ground. To your lowest point. And in that point you say what? Subhanahu Rabbi al-A'la. Glory be to my Lord, the most high. When I'm in my lowest state, I'm giving Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala his grandioseness, right? I'm declaring his greatness, right? I hum it up. So number three, show remorse. Number five, number four, stop that sin. Right? Some of us say stop for the law, stop for the law, but they still continue doing what it is that they're doing. Whatever it is, right? And you know whatever that sin is, we can go down the line. Inshallah, one day we're going to go through the south, we're going to go through the Sabaha, we'll be taught, we're going to go through the seven stories, and we're going to go through the Kabahir. So Inshallah, you know what those Kabahir are. Okay? But you got to stop that sin. You can't just say, I stop in Laha, I stop in Laha, and then you still continue with that sin. That's not Toba. That's why I say Toba is a different action than this a stop for. A stop for is the verbiage. Toba now requires some type of action. So number four, we stop the sin, right? Number five, we remove all avenues that lead back to that sin. Person, people, place.
places or things. Persons, people, places or things. Anything that leads back to that sin that would remove ourselves from the things. If it's a certain person or certain people, I gotta remove myself from them. Certain places, right? I gotta stop attending or going to these places so I can remove myself from these sin or things, whatever it is, man. Whatever thing it is, I gotta start removing myself from that thing. Right? A person, places, or things. Remove all avenues that lead back to this sin. If I know that I go over here, man, there's a potentiality me, there's a potentiality of me getting back to that sin, I can't go there no more. If I kick it with this dude, right, I understand that he's still involved in certain things, I can't kick it with him no more. Feel me? Remove all person, places, or things. Remove all avenues that lead back to that sin. Number six, the little does what it says, when you went told what then what? Increase in good deeds. Well, I'll be the salt and hot. Part of Toba is after you went Toba, you turn to Allah, you ask for forgiveness, now you increase in good deeds. I would have lost my brother, but forgive me. So what it is, what is it that I'm doing that will make me worthy of the mercy of Allah? That will make me worthy of the Toba of Allah for Allah for him to turn to me. What am I doing different? What am I doing special or spectacular that will make me worthy of being forgiven of my sins? Am I still doing the same thing? Or am I increasing in my good deeds? So part of Torah means, man, I'm going to go far and beyond to prove to Allah's Prophet that I'm worthy and to seek Allah's Torah, to seek Allah's forgiveness. Man, I got to work for that and increase in my honor. I got to increase my life in my honor in a solid heart. I got to increase in my good deeds. So part of Torah is increasing in good deeds. After you did something wrong, man, then go far and beyond. Start doing good deeds, man. Go the extra route. Do the nawaf. Do the extra prayers. Give out extra charity. Give out extra summer call to certain people. Give somebody a ride or something. Call somebody on the phone, man. Check on somebody. Be nice to your mama. Be nice to your kids. Whatever, man. Be nice to your wife. Right? You're doing it because you're seeking a lot total. Number seven, then be an advocator against that sin. You gotta be an advocator against that sin. So whatever sin it was that you was involved in, oh man, I was one of those who was out there talking about marijuana, ain't haram, it's okay. So now I gotta be an advocator against it. Yeah, I man, I used to say this, but guess what? Today, I'm an advocator against that. I'm speaking against it. Whatever it was that you was doing, be an advocator against that sin. You gotta be a spokesperson against that thing that you was guilty of, whatever it is, man. And everybody knows what it is that they're guilty of or whatever. So be an advocate against it. You was out there selling dope, be an advocate against selling dope. You was a man, you was a pimp, be an advocate against macking and pimping. That's how it go. Right? That's part of your talk. You feel me? That's part of your talk. Be an advocate against those things that you was involved in. Do the opposite. Right? If you was working with Shay Thorn, right? He was working for Shay Thorn, now work for Allah's Mother. The same way he was working with Shay Thorn, the same way that you was pushing the line for Shay Thorn, pushing the line for Allah's Mother. Go far beyond for Allah's Mother. Inshallah. So again, admit the sin, ask for forgiveness of that sin, have remorse when you ask for forgiveness of that sin to the point that you make yourself cry. That's just between you and Allah. Don't cry for everybody else. You ain't trying to make it a spectacle. You ain't, you ain't trying to show off. You ain't trying to be seen. Right? This is between you and Allah's people. Cry. Number four, stop that sin. You gotta stop it. Panatola is stopping what you're doing. Right? Number five, remove all avenues that lead back to that sin. Person, places, people, and things. Anything that leads back to that sin, remove it. Number six, increase in good deeds. Nothing more, far beyond. Because you would have lost my love to forgive you of your sins, you would be worthy of that. Number seven, be an advocator against that sin.